All right, we're back. We were solving uh, fly fishing and all fishing for God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son, and it was awesome. And um, I just concluded by summarizing that there's some basic words that you need when you go fishing, like the simple words. It's like you need a line, uh, you need a hook, you need a lure and a bait. Um, a, a reel is, is a new piece of technology. Um, <laughs> in day of old, they would have used a, a spear or a lance. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. You can solve all these for Christ or Father very clearly. But line is Father. Hook is Father. Lure is Christ. Bait is Christ. And then when you knit them all together, they knit together. Um, Cool. And then the famous phrase, uh, catch a fish, uh, is a nice trinity glorifying experience. Nice one, two, three there. Okay. So I was just, um, cast. And yeah, the keyword is be cast. Yeah, we've got that cast wrong. Let's go to the sea, cast and hook, and take up the fish that first cometh up. So many plus ones. When thou hast opened his mouth, I shall find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and thee. So there's a lot of plus and ones there. It's pretty cool. But it was fun solving the rod and reel. Um, okay. That's so fun. <clears throat> a boat. It's, it's so glaring how all these things parallel. Like, you, if you have a fishing boat and you take your bait, like, it's pretty obvious how these words are designed for Christ, okay? In the, you know, the offset is perfect for both of them. Take your bait and your boat, and you're fishing. Um, okay, that's really cool. Yeah, that was fun solving fishing. Um, I like going modern just because it hits it home to people. Uh, what is most fishing line made of? Could be a variety, but um, including nylon is one. So nylon um, parallels Christ flawlessly. It's Christ plus three. The most common type is monofilament made of a single strand. That parallels Christ. And then angling is father. So you can go on a tear solving all this. But yeah, we solved the biggies. Hook. Um, oh yeah, fish hook equals the father. Like hook is parallels father, but fish hook equals the father. And um, you can get the word the. You can get it multiple ways, I'm sure, but there's the and the rest equals father. But hook all by itself gives you the father. Um, very cool. Okay. And then fishing lure, we've also solved for Christ trolling. All right, that's fine. You can go on a tear in fishing land. Ooh, just a few more words. A diagram this clean, I can't resist. So I is Christ, shank is Christ. Bend is Father. Point equals Jesus. Point is Christ. Gap divides by three. Barb is also Christ. Hmm. That's cool. Bend. It's cool, because yeah, if you put the bend between the point or the barb and uh, the eye, you know, like just put Christ and Father together. There's your beautiful interleave, the barb and the bend, or if you went the point and the bend. Um, it always makes beautiful threes. Like I, like this is mind blowing. Like you actually have to see this and believe it. Total is 99, nine letters, 21 strokes, everything divides by three. And then look at the patterns. Look at the hopscotch effect equals the slice and half effect, 45 and 54. Like that is point 
equals Jesus and parallels Christ by b minus 3. It most perfectly parallels Christ with the two letters that divide by 2 plus 2 is a single plus 1, rest of the letters divide by 3. And then bend is perfect for father with 3 plus 2 is a single plus 1, rest of the letters divide by 3. Okay? And um, like point is minus 3 from Christ. Bend is also odd, which is nice because it parallels what we have in point, is minus 33 from father. Like pretty, pretty glaring, isn't it? Bend is minus 33 from father. Point is minus 3 from Christ. It's Trinity glorification all the time. So that's what I'm here to preach on with the parts of fixture. Point, Christ, bend, Father, put the two together, it equals 99. And then you can do the same thing with barb and bend. You get these interleaves. And then why not the shank and the bend? I mean, just complete this picture just for fun and see what these numbers are. 789, I, bend. Cool. Um, Oh, here's an obvious gem. Jesus with the parable of the camel and the eye of the needle. Well, why did he say that? Well, because camel is father. It's, in fact, camel is at the dead center of father. And you knew that camel, camel has been a king. I mean, camel, it just hands it to you. Center of father parallels the center of camel. And then the bookends all divide by three. Camel just hands it to you. And camel, above all creatures, has a nice tall hump in the center of the back upon which the person would ride. So it really exemplifies that there's someone who's above everything, like the father is on top. Even the word hump is plus one for father. Uh, in fact, hump equals father. <laughs> hump equals father. <laughs> so the camel hump has now been solved. Hump equals father. Camel was at the dead center of father. So who's on top? <laughs> well, clearly the father's on top because the camel hump is on top. <laughs> and what and theoretic and isn't water contained in the camel hump? People people theorize well water is is flawless for father. Um, and that's the whole purpose of a camel is it can go for a long time without water. Um, just transferring video. Um, that's huge. So we solve the camel hump. And then if the camel has multiple humps, now you get a father, 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 triple, three plus ones. And it always makes a beautiful three, like one, one, one. Like it's always a glaring number to glorify three, like one, 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 perfectly. Camel humps, father, 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 triple. <laughs> now, if a camel had three humps, I'd be really impressed, but usually one. But now the riddle of Jesus, by the way, the word riddle, just like parable, is father and and just like story fathers love to tell stories and i love riddles um like the word solve is plus one for father solve my riddle uh riddle is father minus six just by the way the word fiddle is a great instrument for a father to play if you're really good you'll be a father that plays the fiddle while telling riddles that all glorify the christ with intelligence and people will be profoundly amazed um and yes you play the fiddle with a bow which is plus one for father <clears throat> In fact, fiddle equals boat. <clears throat> and then fiddler will just equal father. So fiddler on the roof, that famous movie. Um, who is the fiddler? Who is, you know, who is the dancing guy that's on top of everything? Well, clearly the father is on top. This fiddler is on top. Um, <clears throat> but um, so, yeah, if you're a fiddler on the roof. OK, anyways. Um, <laughs> why not be a fiddler when you grow up? <laughs> Look at that dead center fiddler. Okay, one thing at a time, my goodness. But the Riddler is greater than the Riddler, someone who tells a riddle. And oh my gosh, this is all just too screamingly awesome. I'm just, I can't keep up. But but look at that. So now the, the middle of Riddler differs from 24 by that, and this makes multiples of six. This is multiples of six, and then this is pure sixes on the end. And that's the same thing with Fiddler. Um, this is just crazy awesome. Okay, so we saw the camel humps, but why, why did Jesus say it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle? Well, because I parallels Christ, camel parallels father. Just to hit it home to you even harder, camel is minus 24 from father, offsets of sixes. I is minus um, 42 from Christ. <laughs> Same digits, multiples of six. Pretty obvious, isn't it? Okay, see how it's, it's all for Christ and father back and forth? Okay, so camel is father, I is Christ. Put the two together, heaven on earth, it equals 69, an obvious three, three times the ninth prime, which equals Jehovah, the Trinity at large. Um, but look at the six days of creation pattern, three teams of three that divide by three, 
skipping threes down the letters. Okay, so the camel through the eye of a needle. And you can push this higher by talking about the eye of the needle. Because now you're just every other word divides by three. So this parallels Christ going screamingly high. Uh, in fact, it's Christ plus 90. And so camel plus the eye of the needle, which was really, you know, and then it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Even, even the phrase rich man, rich parallels Christ, man parallels father, put the two together. It always makes beautiful threes, rich man, okay? <clears throat> you are rich in Christ, rich spiritually, rich in truth, you know? Jesus told us that. You can be a rich man, rich toward God. But I'm here to preach that the, the, that the word rich points to Christ. Pure letters in front, divide by three, okay? And man is at the dead center father, so rich man. Now I marvel at how rich points to Christ, poor is plus one for father. In fact, it's six points higher. Okay, so you put the two together and it's beautiful threes. Okay, rich and poor. Mind blowing. Everyone started in this planet poor, and God gives things to our lives. And okay, anyways, um, so we solve the camel humps. Um, I can't remember. Does the camel hump contain water? Is that what it's there for? Is that why? No, it does not hold water at all. It actually stores fat. Camel uses it as nourishment when food is scarce. If a camel uses the fat inside the hump, the hump will become limp and droop down. With proper food and rest, the hump will return to normal. Wow, so it's like, it's like instant feedback for the driver. It's like, oh man, my seat is starting to uh, feel a little bit different. This camel needs to be fed. <laughs> I marvel at how the closer we get to nature and all things natural, the more we feel as humans. Like the, the more we get back to our feelings and feeling things with our bodies and feeling nature and feeling animals and feeling the earth and sensing things with our natural senses. And we just touch things a lot more and we're touching fur and like thorns and soil and our lives have more feeling. So camels, so we, uh, we solve the great camel for father here. I, um, I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing as we're in the zone with camel being solved for father, you just scoop up a little more gold, a few more basic terms. Um, camelus equals Jesus, but camel is perfect for father. But see that, how camelus equals Jesus? Wow, those are some serious humps. You can solve all the different species with this rule. Like Bactrian camel is flawlessly a Christ-Father combo, uh, which will make beautiful threes. The Bactrian, in fact, the Bactrian camel equals Christ plus Father. I kid you not. This is a very magnificent looking beast. Um, I can solve this one too. The three, there's only three surviving species, the dromadary, the one-humped camel. This is so cool. Whether one hump or two, one is at the dead center father, two equals father. And then hump was, hump equals father. So there's not a lot of animals that have one and two humps. Hump equals father and two equals father. Um, humped camel, which inhabits the Middle East. Um, ooh, even that father gets the last one. Which inhabits the... Um, Middle East and the Horn of Africa. Oh, I can solve the Horn of Africa. Horn is Father, and then Africa is Jesus. So the Horn of Africa is a beautiful Father Jesus combo. The Bactrian or two humped camel, which inhabits Central Asia, and the critically endangered wild Bactrian camel. Well, we already solved that once so we get wild because it divides by three. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. The Greek term for camel equals a triple of one, two, three, 369. <laughs> you can go on a tear solving the alpaca. I noticed some of these are plus ones, but let's one thing at a time. Okay, I, I don't wanna. Um, so this is the guy that has two humps in contrast to the single hump dromadary. So I'm going to solve the Bactrian camel. I already did. The Bactrian camel equals Christ.
Christ plus Father. Perfectly. The backroom camel equals Christ plus Father. Bang. The famous 135 love plus love plus half love. But I am here to preach the depth of this, that Bactrian is flawless for Christ, and Camel is flawless for Father. Okay, we, Camel's at the dead center of Father, but just Bactrian, okay, it contains many of the same letters as Christ, like sitting right in the center. Um, and then, uh, no less, pure 18 on top. This is crazy. Crazy awesome is what it is. So, just, you can do, wow, actually, you know what I would like to do? Like, you can pick off the same letters like I've done there, and it's pretty sweet, because at the, at the, in Bactrian, they're at the dead center of the guy. In Christ, they make this perfect trifork, so you have perfect symmetry between letters, in what we've, in the common letters between Christ and Bactrian. And then, uh, you have nothing to do except scoop, scoop out the remaining threes, which are a multiple of nine. A BA is three, plus 15 is 18 double nine, and an HS is triple nine. That is amazing. No one can tell me that Christ hasn't been sovereign over the name of the Bactrian camel. It's staring you in the face. <laughs> to glorify the Trinity perfectly. Now, that wasn't all that I saw. Allow me to write this again, and we'll do another pass. Okay. Check this out. Now, ah, that's good. We leave it blank. They end in plus twos, okay, differing by six no less, which is king offset. Then they are that is preceded by plus ones, differing by triple six no less, which is king again. Then they are preceded by the same letter, R I R I, which is half a love. Then they are again preceded by plus twos, differing by six. In both cases, oh no, um, yeah, the, the the T went down six to the H, and then the H went up twelve to this T. Amazing. Um, and then the C is the C, just like the R-I, and then the B-A adds three in front. They just hit it out of the park for the Trinity. There you go. <laughs> the Bactrian camel has been solved to the glory of Christ. And folks, this is one of the most ancient of beasts in world history. We're talking Egypt. We're talking the Promised Land. We're talking Israel. We're talking ages past. Like, this is the biblical animal. This is like Job and Noahville. Like, this is the animal that they always drew on the ark in the days of, like, Noah's ark, you know. Um, <laughs> the Bactrian camel. God is really proud of this beast. I mean, look at that thing. We just got to slow down a bit. Like, that is a beast to be proud of. Like, that's a little bit bigger than a fish. Like, you know, a little tuna. Like, that thing is a proud looking beast that is fit for royalty i mean you can sit the queen and the queen on the on the king and the queen and that is a specimen so bactrian hit it out of the park for christ and then camel hit it out of the park for father like i said it's a christ father combo so let's grab our painting for did we make a painting for yeah <laughs> we made a very glaring painting for a camel glorifying father. So let's grab that, come down here to our, now permit me a little, a few moments here just to get this data. I don't know why, well, it's fine. Okay. Um, I'll just plug that in there. So there you go, there's our Flawlessly parallel paintings between Christ and Bactrian and Father and Camel. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I could cry. Um, but I laughed. Okay, so Christ plus Father equals the great 135 equals love plus love plus half a love. This equals 33 points less. Okay. Which, of course, I recognize was just waiting for the word the to come in front or the word amen to come on the back. But um, I'll put the word the in front. And so now when you say the Bactrian Camel, you perfectly have the same value as Christ plus Father, uh, the great love plus love plus half a love. So let's just do a little alignment here for visual satisfaction. Um, that's pretty good. And there is an official equation for the history books for all mankind to stare at and marvel to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the beautiful Holy Ghost. There it is. The Bactrian camel has now been solved to the glory of Christ and the Father. And who gets the last word? 
father. Bam! <laughs> oh, that felt good. Okay, um, the Bactrian camel. Incidentally, I, I like the word bam because it's plus one for father. And just, you know, like the word Bactrian, you get this two, two plus one equals three, and then father gets the last letter. Bam! It's a very simple word, plus one for father. But there you go. Christ plus father, the Bactrian Campbell. Wow. Um, now, you can add the in front of any of these if you want. Just add more threes to the party. 33s. Wow. Christ plus the father, the Bactrian Camel. And of course, in the front here, to add your bonus three, it's like the simplest equation to make three. Two plus one equals three. In fact, that's the very definition of the number three. Two plus one. So it's just maximum. So Bactrian, Christ, camel, father. The Bactrian camel equals Christ plus father. Wow. Um, let's take a look at this beast here. So um, I will try to... Uh, Get this on camera, a comfortable zoom level. Okay. Uh, wow. Bactrianus is double love. You you can go on a, a a tear like digging up these letters and solving, finding more of everything in there. But I'm here to preach the the common famous words for now. As a large even toed ungulate uh, native to the steppes of Central Asia. So two humps. This is so cool because two equals father and hump equals father. And so when you say two humps, that's a father, 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 triple. Oh my gosh, two humps equals the Bactrian camel. <laughs> if you waited that long, you got a lot more coming your way. This is amazing. Two humps equals the same number. <laughs> The famous love plus half love. I kid you not, but it really glorifies father because two equals father and hump equals father. And of course, S is plus one for father. Okay. So, um, there you go. Um, I just like to tidy this up. So, um, two humps equals the Bactrian camel equals Christ plus father. That's so amazing. But hump equals father and two equals father. Um, we'll solve the dromadary in a second. This population of two million exists mainly in the domesticated form. Um, interestingly, domesticated is plus one. Um, it equals holy father. Isn't that amazing? Like, isn't it amazing? You know, man is created in God's image, and God created the animals for us. God commanded, saying, fill the earth and have dominion over all the creatures. That is, domesticate the animals and use them for your benefit. And so I'm proud to preach on this word, domest the root right here is gorgeous plus one for father. father. In fact, domesticated equals father plus 60 it equals holy father. Father plus 60, King Offset, accomplished in 12 letters and 21, 27 strokes, just like Father is accomplished in 6 letters and 18 strokes. Like 6s, 9s. Domesticated. It's a domesticated animal. It is useful for mankind. It, it is comfortable around people, and it's being a blessing to man made in God's image. So I'm happy to preach on this King word, domesticated for father, and of course the root parallels father plus one. And then I, I usually can't resist poking into the center of these things and seeing what God has hidden in the center because there's usually cool things if we, like lots of, oh my gosh, beautiful threes uh, from like the inside out on this one and that just keeps going there. 90, and okay, domesticate, yeah. Um, and domestic, of course, is a word all itself. So domestic, oh, equals the grade 88. Um, another word that comes to mind is tamed. The animal has been tamed, just like uh, domesticated. 
The root is tam. Say, I am tame. Oh my gosh, it's at the dead center of father. A good father of nature, like Noah, a good father of animals, is good at taming the animals. And look at the beauty. This is going to blow your mind. I mean, if God the Father walked among us in human flesh, he would tame every single animal instantly because they all love him. Like, <laughs> he'd have parades of wild animals like following sheepishly behind him like in perfect calmness, just like God the Father is here, everyone on their best behavior. No barking dogs. They would just be like, okay. No, I'm serious. Look at the taming, the root. Because taming, tamers, there's the root. It's just sitting there at the center of father. Wow. And of course, being the father of children, it's your job to tame those kids, <laughs> those wild animals. No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, but no, taming uh, the animals. Look at that. So H-E equals M, T-A equals T-A, the dead center of father. Good night. We just solved, you know, the lion tamer. The taming of animals is to domesticate them. Um, uh, another root that comes to mind is sub, subdue. That's what, out of the book, fill the earth and subdue it. This is the root right there, because you can talk about subduing, subduers, subdued, subdues. Well, what's the root? The root is plus one right here for father. It equals water. Okay, so subduing the animals, taming the animals, domesticating the animals. Father, father, father. God the Father, okay? For the glory of man and the glory of God the Father. So, um, kind of like my name, Derek, starts with a plus one. This is your pure threes after it. Um, but with a little bit of work, you can easily find Father, pop off 30. Um, I would not see 12 is 27, 33. There's one way I saw this plus the C on the end. That's one way of doing it. Um, okay. That's fine. Um, okay, tamed. So we solve taming and tamed. And so, yeah, domesticated and then tamed is 43. So taming, subduing. I tameth. In my opinion, tameth is the coolest way of saying it. Say, I tameth the animal. Because... Uh, um, now you get the six letters, you get the ETH, you get the A sitting right there, and then the T and the M together to make three. Okay. Um, well, that was awesome. Um, so, see how, so, so we wanted to pop it, we, we solved the word domesticated. Um, enough of that, okay. Served as a pack animal since ancient times. Um, the word pack is plus one for father. With its tolerance for cold, drought, and high altitudes, the travel of caravans on the Silk Road. <laughs> um, a caravan uh, divides by three. Caravans would be plus one. We'll just get a few more words just in this term caravans. Um, Okay, and now let's get the dromedary camel. Let's let's solve that before I move. To, so the dromedary, what do we see here? Ah, oh, it's plus one for father. So um, dromedary. Yep. Um, and on the lips of men. Um, so yeah, that equals father plus seventy to sixty-eight. Or uh, yeah, seventy-eight. And that's quite quite stunning when you put the dot in front because then you get chain links and bookends of threes there. Um, but let's poke around in the letters and uh, see what we find in said dromedary. Um, I like going to the center. Thirty-eight. Aha! There we are. Let's take a look here. Um, well, why don't I just? So, a couple things to mention here. There's your center parallelism. 
Um, oh my, that's beautiful. And then the two R's occupy dead equal positions as the letters that divide by six in father. I'm loving this already. Don't you just love perfection? You know, God's sovereignty over words in world history. So check this out. Check this out. Um, okay, so center differs by sixes, which is king. Father is flanked in sixes, backing that up. R's and F's are pure sixes. We're doing fantastic. And now we, we simply um, have to spell the word day to make an, another multiple of three. In fact, it's 30 and then O is exactly half of that 15. So that can go on that team. So there is my um, initial painting of Dramatory for God the Father in lovely Trinity glorifying symmetry. Very nice. Um, and then this, this the uh, comes along very nicely to do the thing that I always feel led to mention, which is mention the number of plus twos over the number of plus ones in these strings. So Father, you have three plus twos and a single plus one. Uh, in the dramatory, now you have that flawlessly. Oh, and you, actually, no, you have a you have a lot of plus ones in dramatory. You have a, a bonus three over top. Yes, yeah, so you have one plus one over the number of plus twos. But look at the the sitting there are all all the plus twos in uh, father. And then that is just that is a huge necklace of plus ones. And plus one is the offset from father. So. First letter, last letter, uh, center letters loaded with plus ones there. Okay. Um, also called the Arabian camel. Well, Arabian is plus one. Ay, caramba. Arabian. Father minus 12. So I'm curious. So then when you put this all together, yeah, it'll yield a plus two, but you had to sink your teeth in to the individual words. Like, we solved camel for father, and it had the same design. It, it basically, it had the exact same design. Like, if I was to paint these in the same color, it would be um, the exact same. Okay? It would be identical. How the, the name father is declared by both of these. Okay. Just just in, in perfect parallelism of threes. Father dramatory. Father camel. Okay. And uh, and then Arabian is father minus twelve. How does it compare to camel? Oh this is too good. So Arabian is minus twelve from father. Maybe God's gonna give me some camels in the future. Man, I'm solving this. Why not? Cam Look at this. Camel is minus 24. Arabian is minus 12. Good night. That is so awesome. Everyone, you always knew you loved the word Arabian. Um, <laughs> should I solve the word chic after this? Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll bet you we can find the word camel in Arabian. You just have to pop off 12. Yeah. Look, here's camel in Arabian. It's wrapping this whole sucker up. Iran. So an Arabian camel. That's mind blowing. Arabian camel. So there is father in Arabian. Or there's camel in Arabian. Perfect bookends. Wow. <laughs> um, amazing. And then interestingly, all of these, all this is so interesting to me. I, I've never seen it this, all of these words actually have an, a one plus one over the number of plus twos to, to make the overall offset of plus one. Uh, Arabian, camel, and the dromadary. Okay. So obvious parallelism there. And then as it... Um, as touching father, I would just um, I would point out these two letters divide by three, differing by three. I would point out that the B and the N differ from the center letters by twelve, and then the, the vowels 
AE equals 6, and the, the three A's equal 3 perfectly down here. You could also point out that the I's vowel here then joins that squad if you wanted um, to make 12 for the vowels here, 6 up here. So it's all perfect 6's. The offsets between Father and Arabian for the Trinity at large there. So to our satisfaction, we've solved the Arabian camel. And um, also, so now, it's like I always say, there's only one thing better than one Arabian camel, and that's multiple Arabian camels. And so now you get a father, father, triple, father, 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 triple. Let's do the same thing with dromedary. Okay, now you have a father, 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 triple, which is king. And what is, it's going to make a beautiful three, three fest, the Arabian camels. Okay, here we go. Wow, one, three, two, pretty obvious, three. Um, and then this one, 189. Hello! Uh, sure, I'll be down in like five. Okay. Okay. So, um, that is so beautiful. I mean, 132 is a very obvious 123, and 189 is so king because it, uh, it equals a sevenfold set of three times three times three, like the famous love plus love plus love plus half a love. Okay. The dromedary camels, the Arabian camels. Now, you can push this even higher and, and talk about. Uh, all the Arabian camels in the world. And all is plus one for father, that'll turn this into a plus one father statement. But now when you say in, in is Christ, the world divides by three, so now it, it again will divide by three. All the Arabian camels in the world is a beautiful three fest. All the dromedary camels in the world, same idea, okay. I like to preach details and push things higher. Beautiful, three, four, two, an obvious three fest, okay. Um, Good stuff. Okay, so we. This is awesome. Um, the dromedary is a large unit with one hump. Oh, and we got one more species to deal with. Oh, it's the wild one. A curved neck. Plus one. Long curved neck. Flawless for father. In fact, that's glaring, because watch this. Uh, curved neck, in fact, everyone has a curved neck. Uh, think of giraffes, man. But curved neck is father plus 48. Well, long equals 48. So long curved neck now equals father plus 48 plus 48. And giraffe parallels father, okay? So long curved neck equals father plus 48 plus 48. King offsets for God the Father. Done. Uh, narrow, parallels Christ, narrow chest. Chest is Father. Single hump, okay. Ooh, threes. The Middle East, yeah, in Africa. Okay. And then the wild Bactrian is simple. This is, oh my goodness, look at those humps. That's not a hump, man. That's like a spike. <laughs> Tough to ride that. But this just provides more sixes offset on Bactrian camel, okay, which we already solved. So the wild Bactri Bactrian camel just pushes pushes what we solved earlier for Bactrian camel a lot higher. And what's cool about that, what's cool about the word wild is it's similar to Bactrian camel and that you had your plus two here, your plus one last. So just like Bactrian was plus two and camel was last and things that divide by three. So the word wild, father does get the last word just like camel. The word wild is in fact a, a Christ father combo for those with the eyes to see baked into one. <laughs> Um, pretty sweet. Yeah. The wild back tree and camel. Alright. I feel pretty good. And ignore the lies about the age of the earth. Wow, there's not that many of them. These are critically endangered? Yeah, these are critically endangered. Okay, that was awesome. Wow, there's another cool animal. That'll be uh, father plus 12. You can easily find father in that. 
VUNIC and see alpaca. <laughs> alpaca is at the dead center of father, 34. And there's the LP, which is the TH in father. Alpaca. You've got to be kidding me. And there's your TH at the center of father, and then there's your A, and then here's your E right there. In order. In order, my friends. In order, the alpaca is at the dead center of father. And LP is very special because um, they, all, they differ from 4s by the T and H. Like H goes up 4 to an L goes up 4 to a P goes up 4 to a T. And then A equals A. And then E equals ACA. So there you go. We just solved the alpaca <laughs> for the glory of the Father. <laughs> it's the alpaca, man. Like, that is it. Father, glorified. Get some wool off that thing. Cool. By the way, sheep parallels Christ, Christ, lamb is father. And alpaca is a domesticated species of South American camelid. Oh yeah, beast of burden is a superb Christ father combo where father gets the last word. And you can find father, just pop off the B and the D, there's father left over, the famous S-U-R in sugar, U-R, E-N is an S. And beast is flawless for Christ, minus 30. So beast of burden is a Christ father combo. It equals one, three, two. <laughs> we just solved every beast of burden. Um, donkey parallels Christ, just like horse. Oh man, we're in animal land, which is awesome. This is flawless for Jesus, the guanaco. Three plus one is a single plus two, rest the letters divide by three, and it's gorgeous for Jesus. It's, it's Jesus minus 12. Put Jesus on top, you'll be amazed. E differs from the N by nine. J differs from a G by 3. The S's differ by 6's here, or triple 6. And then the U equals the U, and the CO, CO is bonus 3's on the end. It's just perfect. Um, and you can find Jesus by just um, grabbing the U and the O and the N. Amazing. UNO, UNO, that famous card game. Oh no, I'm missing something. Oh, it's Jesus minus 12. Sorry, you have to do it the other way around. No, it doesn't work. There, that's fine. Offsets, yeah. Oh, it's a camelid, which also parallels Jesus. It's Jesus minus 27. So, same digits as Jesus, 47, 74, a camelid. With three plus ones, one plus two, the rest of the letters divide by three. Like watch watch Jesus own the word camelid. Pardon my zoom. Uh, here's the plus ones. The one plus two is the E in Jesus. What what strikes me is that the L I, the letters that divide by three, equal the U in Jesus. So this S differs from that by fifteen, pure threes, this by six, this um, differs from that by nine, and then uh, an E is an E. And then uh, the LU equals that, and this C is your bonus 3. So that's amazing that the, um, the JSS, the 3 plus 1s there equal 48, and here they equal 18, differing by 30, which is what I was wanting, offsets of 6s. Jesus Camelid. Llama is a lovely, uh, look at all the plus ones, and then llamas, plural. Lahalik llama. <laughs> that's funny, because that's screaming out father, llama glama. But it's all the plus ones on the end that are pushing the name of father really hard. Okay. 
it's actually very it's actually identical in design to the word orgasm <laughs> okay and in fact so when you say llamas it's 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 just like that where you have four plus ones right on the end with the two letters that divide by three on the beginning in fact llamas equals father <laughs> okay so very easy very glaring to see that and the scientific name kind of llama glama just is hilarious because it's pure plus ones llama glama and then best of all letters and strokes divide by three nine and twenty seven just like father like this is crazy but it's 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 what it is in the history books for the glory of the father it's llama glama is like your new favorite set of letters llama glama equals father plus three in nine letters and 27 strokes well father is accomplished in six letters and 18 strokes two-thirds exactly six is two-thirds of nine 18 is two-thirds of 27 llama glama <laughs> llama glama the official scientific name for a llama and so and you can pop off the three points just by popping off three a's take your pick the rest equals father llama glama Furthermore, the two letters that divide by three equal the two letters that divide by three in father. <laughs> and now, this is mind-blowing. Now the two M's make 26, add the G, and that equals the, <laughs> and then the A equals the A in Lama Glama. <laughs> Furthermore, this G plus this M, equal, or the MG equal the T, and then the final M equals the H-E. There it is, folks. You heard it here first. Lama Glama has now been solved flawlessly for Father, Father God. Lama Glama, <laughs> Lama Glama is the official scientific name for this guy. The Lama Glama. <laughs> the Lama Glama. What's that on the top of his head? Ears. Well, ears is plus one for father because father is on father is on top. And if you're really good, you'll understand that the name of the tip top of an ear is called the helix, which equals father. Helix equals father. Okay. But ears, just like llamas, and so ears is, is very obvious for father. Forty three. And the bookends of ears, like for your confirmation, equal the bookends of father. And then this is, provides the offset of plus one in the center, just like it does for father. So what's on top of, of most animals, like many animals, what is the highest vertical part of them? Oh, the ears. Oh, wonderful, because father is on top, okay? So, and say, oh, the ears, because now you get father plus 18, and you can get father by just popping off the R, and amazingly, that's the letters that do not divide by three that equal father perfectly. So the ears equals father plus 18. And why is that the case? What's the message? Well, father is on top. <laughs> Don't argue with father. Father is on top. We are somewhere down here. Father is on top. <laughs> He's always on top. Um, okay. So the llama glama, llamas equals father. And it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, once you memorize all these things, it's pretty, just so I can, you know, preach on a very similar word mathematically that parallels what God ordained in the design of the word llamas is the famous word orgasm, okay, which humans know well. Um, first two letters divide by three and it's followed by a pure string of plus ones for father, okay. Pure string and they share many of the same. Um, this, these, this famous trio adds to um, 33 perfectly and the A and the G differ by six and what's very special about this pure string of plus ones, I'll look at orgasm, is they all differ by sixes, going up in six. Like A is one, go up to six to G, go up six to M, and go up six to S. That's basically the same in llamas, you just didn't have the G, that changed to an A, that's fine. And then these, these L's divide by three, in fact, they're double six in this situation. So llamas equals father, orgasm is flawless, and it's offset for father, it equals number, in fact, and father is on the end of the word orgasm, right there, okay? so. Orgasm equals father plus 15 equals father plus O. If you want, you can even say that statement. Orgasm equals O father, the name above all names. And um, it equals number, okay, which is precisely what we are working in numbers, okay? So there you go. Some bonus preaching there for you on the word orgasm to the glory of the father. All right. So, um, 
there you go. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if llamas have orgasms to the same effect that we do, but I'm sure they do mate, obviously. And <laughs> all right, just for just <clears throat> just for fun. Okay, the hate of a um, uh, and bird was called llama. Can we? A baby llama. Llama's father. Uh, herds and flocks, okay. Okay, and ignore the things about the age of the earth. They don't know what they're talking about. <clears throat> Read creationscience.com to get that settled. Uh, okay. Guanaco. Camelid. Oh, yes, we solved camelid. Um, cool. So we solved a lot of things there. It's all whales, deer, cattle. Cattle's plus one. Goat is father. Pig parallels Jesus. Giraffe is father. The antelope. Ooh, I don't think I solved the antelope. Oh, antelope is father. Wow. And there's the great 88. Give me a home where the buffalo roam. Well, the dead center is plus one for father. Flanked in sixes. Oh my gosh. Antelope. Hits it out of the park for Father. Give me a home or the buffalo roam. Um, antelope. Look at this. Dead center, plus one offset from Father. Okay. Um, and then flanked in sixes, just like Father. That's 30, and that's six. They're just, just like Father, okay? You can, you can do this for yourself. TH, six, and uh, 24. Notice the AE are in order as well. I could have colored it the other way to point that out, but it's pure sixes in antelope for father. So, so give me a home where the antelope roam. Antelope is a member of a number of even to an species to race regions and it has a wastebasket.